Welcome to the channel of Dr. Chaos. Today we are going to write a C program to find the greatest element in a single dimensional array. This is an extremely easy program to understand and I'm going to cover from the top to the bottom so you shouldn't have any issues at all. So first I'm going to include my header files as I've included over here. The standard input output header file and the conio.h header file. Okay, so that's cleared out. And I'm going to write the program in the main void. So obviously since this is a single dimensional array program I have to declare an array. So I'm going to declare an array of 5 elements of the capacity 5. You can declare more if you want to. I'm going to declare a variable i and I'm also going to declare a variable greatest. I'll explain later on in this video why I have included this. Okay so let's go on. Obviously, first we need to print a message on the display. So the quotation marks and the semicolon. Okay. Enter the numbers. Okay. Now, obviously, for scanning any array, since we require to scan these elements, we need to use a loop. So I prefer using the for loop. I don't see any other option than this one. But anyway, I'm going to declare a for loop for scanning these elements to scan up to five elements okay so five elements coming up uh, sorry four because zero is counted as one element so zero one two three four five so it goes up to five elements okay and i plus plus obviously and we're going to include the scanf formatted input output functions okay Include the scanf with the quotation marks and the semicolon. Percent %d, since this is an integer, it's going to be percent %d, comma, and percent of array of i. So here we have printed this message, scanned all the five elements. Now, here's where the greatest steps in. We have to assume one of the values of the array as the greatest one we need to fool and trick the program a little bit so what I'm going to say is greatest is equals to array of zeroth element so what I'm saying over here is that the first element in the array as I told you zero is equals to one in an array and an array initialized with zero so that means it's the first element so what are you saying here that the greatest means the highest element in the array is the first element that we enter so that's tricking the program or saying that the greatest element is equals to this okay so now we're gonna write uh, another for loop which is going to be exactly same as this one so I'm gonna copy it and paste it and inside this for loop we're gonna write an if statement and the condition will be if the greatest element if there's in the array of i okay is greater greater than greatest then perform the this statement okay so i'm going to say that greatest is equals to array of i so what we are doing over here is assigning that whatever the value may be if the value we are scanning now is greater than greatest sorry a mistake over here if it's greater than this value it will say that the greatest one is the one that we just scanned okay so that's a very important statement over here so we are almost done in this program all we need to do is print the greatest element so I'm going to say print f okay the greatest element is percent d percent d not capital d sorry comma greatest so it's going to print the greatest and I think that I've just forgotten a curly braces over here so I'm going to put one this is for the for loop and this is for the if statement okay and obviously the get character so we can see what is the result I'm gonna run the program uh, here 
sorry for that issue over here okay that's that's the issue great test okay I'm gonna run it again uh, execute okay so here we have the program sorry for that minor issue enter five elements right so I'm gonna enter five ten fifteen sixty six and twelve the greatest element is 66 so it works so I'm gonna go through the program once again so first I declared an integer array of capacity 5 I also declared a variable I and I also declare a variable greatest okay I printed a message on a display enter the numbers and then I scanned for those numbers five times I can enter up to five elements as I told you before and assume that the, the first value that we entered is equal to the highest one the greatest one okay then we scanned again all through the array to see if there's a greater element than greatest and store it into the integer greatest and finally print that integer it's an extremely simple program to understand and I don't think there should be any doubts if there's any you know to put it into the comment box this has been a channel of the chaos. I hope you like this video. Rate, comment and subscribe. Thank you very much.